Hello, I'm Ben Bamboozle and I'm out on a new bike today. Well, I say new bike, I've had it for a little while. It is a rally, um, I think they call it a stowaway fold-up bike. I bought it a couple of years ago, the idea I'm going to go and deliver in different places with it. Um, so I thought I'd get it out today and have a go on it. It's not off to a good start, a couple of things have gone wrong, let me show you. So, first problem of the day, I noticed a load of the green gunk coming out around the valve. So I think we have a puncture on the front tire, which isn't great. <laughs> um, and then second problem of the day, it started raining. So it wasn't forecast to rain until about five o'clock and the bike just fell over and my bag's fallen on the floor. So it's going really great so far. I don't think it's gonna be the longest video in the world, but I'm gonna get online and try and do a couple of orders on it. It'll be interesting to see if you can actually do delivering on a normal bike without having an e-bike. Um, and how much harder it's going to be on a little fold-up bike like this because uh, it is harder to pedal. I have added a couple of extras to it so I had this basket fitted on the back um, a couple of weeks ago at eBike Sussex they fitted that for me which was quite expensive I think I paid 75 quid for that and I also got my SP Connect um, holder on the front here to hold my mobile phone um, which fits on with my um, phone case which I've also lost I think it's underneath the bag or did I put it in there no that would have been too easy wouldn't it anyway I think I bought the bike second hand I think I only paid about 100 quid for it so they do it in various different colors this is the gray one which I think this was an exclusive to Halfords a couple of years ago um, I think the one that you'll see on the rally website now is blue with like a brown saddle and brown tires I believe but they're all they're all the sort of same design they've made them the same for years I think so it's not an e-bike, as I said earlier, it's just a normal push bike. Uh, I think it has six gears, I believe. Oh no, seven, there you go. So yeah, right, let's get online. And let's see if we can get some orders. It has come up with a little fee boost on delivery. That's probably because they've seen that the rain's starting. And I think there's a fee boost on Uber as well. Parked up on the bench, let's see if we get any orders. Very quiet at the moment. Just watching this lady trying to park her car. It's funny with these electric cars have these strange like reverse sensors on them, uh, or the alarms on them, sorry. It's making a light up. I thought it was some church bells for here, possibly. Anyway, I'm uh, gonna sit here and charge my phone up for a bit and wait for an order. And admire the bike. At least it stopped raining as well for the time being. This bike, when you ride it, it does sort of crunch and creak a lot. And you definitely know, notice the change in speed compared to riding my um, e-bike. Well, after about 10 minutes or 15 minutes of waiting, um, an order has come in for Starbucks, which is right behind me, that building you see there, um, going a short distance, and it started raining again as well. <laughs> so let's go and grab this Starbucks, only going down the road, so a nice, nice little short one for the first delivery on the fold-up bike. Let's um, break it in gently. That's collected. Let's go. I know where it's going, so I can give you an on ride view.
off and it's coming for one for Toby Carvery on Uber Eats. So we'll go and get that. went to on the industrial estate to a car window tinting place which I'm thinking about going to maybe not with this car but when I get my new one um, getting the back windows tinted uh, for stealth car camping <laughs> which reminds me if you're not already please hit like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed because um, I've decided to delivery videos you can also catch my camping videos uh, punch and duty videos magic videos and whatever else I get up to. It's come in with one on Deliveroo for Broadwater Mini Market, going a bit of a distance, um, right down into town onto the seafront uh, for three pounds something. So we'll take it. Unusual one, um, two cans of lighter, fl um, lighter fluid. I didn't even know I could get that on there. Anyway, uh, off we go. Smokies behind me, good chicken wings in there. That's done, got the sea behind me, sea breeze. Oh, that nearly killed me. Oh, struggling to breathe. I think my allergies are playing up, um, which doesn't help with exercise. Oh. That'd be easy on the e bike. Nearly killed me on this one. Just thought I'd show you how it folds up while I haven't got an order. So it's easy enough. You have this little clip here. Flip that up, pull it out. And then it tightens there. And then have a Clip on the handlebars here. Clip there. You flip that up. Probably need two hands to do it. Bolts off. That just falls down there. So, and then the saddle, of course, to drop down to. So it's not quite a Brompton by any means, but it will fit in the back of the car, okay. Um, this is also bolted on, unfortunately, as well. Okay, I'm back home. <laughs> I made an executive decision as it started to rain a bit and there's rain in the air and the forecast is more rain for this evening. Um, a friend messaged me apparently, I think it's the wettest um, March on record last month apparently or spring in, on record, something like that. It hasn't stopped raining lately. Anyway, um, I've added it up. I uh, did a grand total of £9.31, pence, which isn't too bad is it? What did we do? Three orders, that was it. So that was okay. Um, worn out now. <laughs> Definitely a big difference compared to riding the e-bike. Um, I certainly won't be doing any £100 days on this one. Mind you, I don't do £100 days on the e-bike either. Uh, they're a thing of the past, aren't they? Um, or even a, I don't think I'll be doing any £50 days on this one. Um, but it is useful for getting about on. It is a useful thing to have to chuck in the back of the car. Or I've used it to go to the pub on before when, I, when I've been worried about it getting pinched. Um, I don't want to take my e-bike, which I think was three grand, something like that, I paid for it. Whereas uh, I don't mind having a hundred quid bike stolen. Um, so yeah, it's handy for that. Um, yeah, it also be, will be good if I want to go and take it to deliver in other places. Um, probably definitely go to flat places, so maybe Norfolk. Um, 
if there's any details you want to know about the bike that I haven't covered, uh, drop me a message on here um, and I shall be back soon with some more videos. I'm going for a coffee now. <laughs> See you soon.